Oh my god, you guys. Welcome to Search Vlog. Maybe. I'm not sure if I'm gonna post this. The Saturday vlog or the Wednesday. But I don't Whatever. We'll say hi. So, the exciting updates are, first of all, I got Lydia a different bed frame. But when I ordered it, Amazon said it would come the 19th through the 26th. So that was kind of a bummer. Then earlier I went to my Amazon app to see if it shipped yet, to see if we have an estimated ship date. Not only did it ship already, it was actually at the door already. <laughs> so the kids are at school, her bed's all set up. She's gonna be surprised when she comes home and I'm so excited. Then I got a surprise because these ridiculous pants that I ordered from Hot Topic to bother Mert with were delivered already. I tried them on. I, first of all, they were like, advertised on Facebook. I don't know why I bought it. It was, well, I know, I know why I bought it. There was one size left. It was my size and it was only like 15 bucks. Anyway, I tried them on. You guys want to see them? I'll show you in the mirror downstairs. Here's my niece's bed. It's all set up for her. <laughs> yeah, she's going to be so surprised and happy. All right, so let's take a look at these pants. <laughs> what do you guys think? They're like flares. I got these because Mart hates flares on me. So I got these to bother her. Plus they're obnoxious with like suns and moons and crap. Hey, aren't these cute? They feel like pajama pants. I mean, I guess I could wear them out, but really you could just wear these as like pajama pants. So these are extra, extra large at Hot Topic, which is like junior sizes, I think. So that's what this is. Ah! Oh, look. Remember this? It's been so long since I've done this because she just had the kids in here. So I haven't... Wow, look at your room. You're getting there. Mm -hmm. ah, things are getting back to normal over here. Really it's nice and warm in here, right? <laughs> it's been so long. Have you missed me no. all this time? No, I, see, I saw you more than ever, <laughs> I feel like. Why is my light red? <laughs> Well, why not? It's been so long. But here's the rub. I got a new smart light bulb, so she can't change mine, but I can change hers because I still have the app. <laughs> what are you going to do? Nothing. I know. <laughs> it is Saturday. Oh, I have to edit. I didn't do any yesterday because... Uh, we can talk about it. I had the itis. <laughs> Yesterday, I had the bright idea and I couldn't get it out of my head because honestly, it's something I've been wanting a while, but I got, oh my God, I got an Impossible Burger because there is a burger place that has one. And I got it once, one time I was at my dad's. And I think I told you guys there was a story with it because it came with a cheese and mayonnaise and I had a call and blah, 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 it was a thing. But I, so it, once I got the right one, it was so good. It was the best vegan burger. So I ordered another one and it came with fries. I ate the, they were so good, like the best fries ever. So anyway, that's it. I actually had the itis after <laughs> that. I just wanted to lay down in nothing, so and lay down and do nothing I did. And that's the story and that's why I'm behind. So the Impossible Burger is just straight impossible guys. And I, I like it because I feel like, I think I've talked about this before too. I think Beyond Meat smells weird. You guys can let me know what you think about that in the comments. Right. I wanna get this editing done because then I wanna go live. It's a busy day, but not. Hmm. Sounds like Starch Vlog. Busy, but not. Huh? Oh, the vlog sucks already. Okay, it is past noon. It's like 12.15. I just finished editing Wednesday. I still have to edit Thursday. Oh my God, why is this taking so long today? Well, actually there's, I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff this morning. I, I also had to attend to. So today is hot. I'm not gonna lie. Today's hot and it's like sticky and it has like that feeling. Here comes a fan. <laughs> just in time. And it has the feeling like, you know what's going to happen today? Actually, it's kind of interesting. We're going to have strong storms later this afternoon. And then behind the storms comes the cool air. And then we have fall weather for, for the foreseeable future. Like in the forecast, we're going to be like in the 60s, which sucks for you Celsius people. We're going to be cozy degrees behind the storms we're getting this evening. Like it's going to be in the 40s overnight. Oh my God. So I just had to deal with this stickiness just for the afternoon. And I don't know if that's also slowing me up because I just feel 
sticky and annoyed and so over summer i'm gonna like throw something but <laughs> all right let me finish this vlog up got my headphones got my this got my dog over there she's helping me out actually no she's not but you know i want to finish this because i want to go live let's do it to it do it to it lars you guys remember that from that movie about the fat camp i can't remember the name of that movie but i remember it's like do it to it lars it's from what, what movie is that <laughs> this took so long and it took so long i can't believe it's one o'clock i it just took so long today i'm so sorry guys this is my bad this is my not preparing this isn't gonna go up till two or three. Oh my god that's all right i can all right well that's all right that's my bad all right all right i'm starving all i had was a piece of pumpkin bread and i've just wanted i was just sitting here plowing through oh my god these things make my ear hurt what am i doing all right i am exporting this i'm going to eat i should try to fix my hair a little bit because i mean that looks sorry i don't know because i'm gonna go live i am gonna go live eventually when oh my god this is gonna take so long rosie you weren't you 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 this is your fault she says stop blaming me for things <laughs> leave me alone I am don't leaving make you me alone. Do, it. do what? What are you gonna do? Don't first. Do don't. Yes. All right. I got a bowl of the Kashi chocolate crunch because I'm still obsessed with it. It's gonna be so good. Just what I wanted. All right. Very good. So the vlog is exporting. Then I gotta get myself together. I guess I really want to actually go live. Huh. But today is, I mean, hopefully the last warm day of the season with the extended forecast anyway. And I gotta tell you, it's apparently like 80 degrees Fahrenheit and it doesn't feel like it. It's very, it's like windy and it's nice. It's like, I actually had to come outside to warm up because the air conditioner is on. And it's not that warm, I don't know, guys. I'm dying over here. It's nice look at my frizzy mess i'm gonna wash my hair after my stream and i'm gonna do things a little differently help have more uh curl and volume at the root brush it while it's damp and has product in it and you brush up you know up away kind of I'm watching more tutorials just some things to help improve my curly routine a little bit i'm not saying my hair looks like trash but it just looks like a like flat and frizzy a lot and i want to I want to work on that a little bit. Ooh, I'm going to make, uh, mom, I'm going to make some fresh coffee. With a little pumpkin in it. Yes. See, what you, what I've been doing is you sprinkle a little pumpkin spice on the grounds and then you brew it, but just a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. It makes like a nice fallish afternoon cup of coffee. And I tell you what, I can't wait because it's going to cool right down. I'm just waiting. I'm like so sick of this friggin' heat. Oh, it's going to cool down. I'm so excited. Yes. I got clean cozies, laundry done yesterday. Oh my God, it's gonna be so clean and so cozy. It's gonna hurt. This is, this is gonna be the coziest weekend yet on this channel. And I feel like I say that a lot, but this is literally hoodie weather, coz. Well, I'm late again. <laughs> and it's not my fault. It's slightly Mert's fault. But that's where we aren't doing that right now. But do you want to go in or out? Okay, she's going to merge rooms. Okay, so again, what keeps tripping me up is the dang clock in the dang kitchen because I don't know, I guess we never made it right and it's like a few minutes ahead or behind or whatever. And now it's ah, it's 2 33. I said it'd be live at 2 30. I was in the kitchen making, I made a coffee. It was so good. Mm. All right, so my hair looks like such trash. Oh my God. And I tell you what, usually I let my hair down to do my hair and it smells so good. Oh no, not today. It smells like French fries or something. Oh my God, it's gotta go. And I don't, I don't use heat on my hair or nothing, but it just did not smell good. <laughs> oh, luckily you can't smell my hair through a, a, a screen so I can still stream you can you, they won't be able to tell but all i will know Let's see what i'm reacting to her last stream was so friggin' boring i already saw the narkler react to it i tell you what it's gonna it's it's, it's getting rough guys amberlynn has a new boo moment is that a fact oh my god new boo amber yeah right that's what i have to say about that 
All right, let me make this thumbnail and then we get this going. Hi, all right, so I'm, I'm vlogging right now. I picked up my phone and I'm vlogging. We're talking about how to vlog <laughs> while I'm doing my live stream, right? So this is what you do. You pick up the phone, see what I'm doing? I'm vlogging. This is content. <laughs> It's this simple. Because Amberlynn's saying, I don't know how, I don't know. I feel like I made my point. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. You guys missed the moment where I turned my light off. The cozy moment. Oh. All right, so the vlog's up. I'm done with my stream. Day's done. All I got to do is, well, I'm hungry. I want to eat like an actual meal. All I had was a piece of pumpkin bread and a bowl of cereal and it's like 4 30 and oh my god oh i'm freaking sticky and warm and waiting for these freaking storms where are they i mean she's getting a little cloudy out there but not cloudy enough i want the storms i want the cool i want the cozies i think i'm gonna heat up uh i got a little bit of pea soup left i'm gonna heat that up have some toast with it it's gonna be really good oh the news is talking about strong or severe storms When's the storms coming? Do we know? Oh my God, they're coming. When is that? Oh no, I gotta make sure the baby's in. Oh my God, they're on the way. Yeah, oh, we got a nice little Halloween pumpkin going. That's freaking cozy. I gotta warn you, Mer, it's about to get extremely cozy. Good. You ready? Here ready. comes the storms. I'm trying to get Simba in. We'll get caught in the rain and then, oh my God, it's so windy. Simba, maybe he'll come out the front. Simba, come on. It's raining, Simba. Oh my God, it's so windy. Oh my God. The storm, guys, it's so exciting. Directly where uh, Mert needs to be. Uh, sorry about that. She's making like, a, what are you making? Ziti? Big Ziti? Ziti. Yes. Yeah, so this is the rest of my pea soup. This is toast. I put half an avocado on it. This is not nearly enough food. It's just for now. <laughs> I'll be back. Of course, Prince Simba <laughs> waits until it's pouring. Then he comes in because he's like, oh, no, I'm not dealing with this. Look at that storm. It smells like rain. Oh my God, here comes the fall. I'm so excited. In a, uh, I'm talking to the vlog. I'm not talking to you. Stop mumbling to me. Here I am in a narc alert live stream. I'm talking to the vlog, not you. Stop talking to me. So I'm watching this instead of doing what I have to do. <laughs> stop, stop talking to me. I hate it when you're home. Like, I hate it. I really got to wash my hair, but I also really got to watch this. So what should I do? I'm still in my pajamas. Like, <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> you know the you know what the narc alert said about my channel? She was talking about it. She was like, this starch vlog is nothing about starches. <laughs> it's just about Justine and her life and her stuff, her pets. And <laughs> it's so true. Like, and you know what it is? It's because I really honestly, like, don't even think about food that much. I really don't. I, I think about it when I'm hungry. When I'm hungry, but I don't, I don't know. But that's only when I'm hungry. Then I think about it, but I'm not, like food focus i'm simba focused okay i'm hair focused <laughs> well you know that siamese cat i've showed you with the blue eyes rio is his name who do you think would win in a fight simbine simbine you think so i feel like rio's like an expensive cat i feel like hire people to fight for him <laughs> expensive cat Simba was very, Simba's very, uh, what's the Street cat, um. He is kind of scrappy. No offense, Simba, but you. We should have named him Scrappy. But he comes from the, yeah, he comes from the school of hard knocks. He came from the shelter. You know, he had a fight <laughs> to get where he is. <laughs> Look at it. The thing is about Simba, the reason why I think he would win in a fight is because he car carved himself as, like, a. he carved himself a position in the house among the pets as the alpha. Which I think you can agree. He even he's even alpha over uh, Buster, and I think he's alpha over Rosie even. He likes being the only child. I don't think we could have another cat ever. No. No. With Simba, no. Simba would be very upset, very moody. Do you remember the friggin' hissy fit he threw when we got Rosie? He hid. Like he. Do you remember him being downstairs for months? I remember that. The you couldn't cat. find him. It was such a big deal when he started showing up in my room again. He's so dainty. Look, oh my god, look at his, look at his paws. 
Look at his two front paws with the white. I feel like Simba would also hire people, but to fight with him. Oh, so he would recruit people from his gang. Yeah, from other, his, from other his street, trash gang. <laughs> other street cats. Oh, good morning. It is almost nine. Wow, I slept. Okay. Oh, I feel good, but guys, I am freezing. What is this weather? It's so cold. Oh my God, I'm so chilly. Was he scratching at the door? And I really gotta pee. I'll be back. Here comes. I was gonna say, why are you choosing Mert's room, to Rosie's? Choose my room. Oh, she's back. I'm going in. You don't get the dog. Now, now Rosie's scared. She's like, why are they both standing? Good girl. Rosie, you don't want to say hi to the vlog. Are you playing, Rosie? Good morning. Oh. oh. What was that? That was, good a, that was a good girl. Oh, there's pumpkin coffee brewing. It is pumpkin and it is cold. It's too cold to sit outside and cozily have a cup of coffee is on the show. Yes. I think it is. You're going to have to layer up if you're going to do that. Where are you going? Why are you walking towards me? I got a new outfit just for you. I'm going to go I'm going to go put it on. What is it? You'll see. I'm gonna turn on my light just so you guys can see my hair. I don't know if I tell much difference, but it is a little curlier at the root. That's what I was trying to get. See, it's still pretty wet. We'll see how it dries. This is I'm not doing that. Huh, Mer? Oh, there you are. What do you think? Wow. <laughs> wow, right? Wow. Wow. These are celestial bell bottoms. I can see that. Right. Where'd you get those at? Hot topic. Ah. When did you go to Hot Topic? Ah. It was a, it was a Facebook ad, and I clicked it because it was on sale, and there was one size left, and it was my size, so I bought it. They were like fifteen dollars. I gotta tell you, ah. I don't hate them. Are you serious? That's why I got them for you to hate them. No. They don't annoy you. No. Ugh. I'm disappointed. I want to take these pants off now. Oh. All right, well, they're very cozy, so I'll give them that. But apparently Mert likes them, so. I can't believe you liked these. Well. Ugh. I don't think I'm buying this again because it's just too, it's literally too good. And it's calorie dense and it's just not the healthiest, but I enjoyed it while I had it. So I'm gonna have a nice big bowl of this. I just finished the box and I'm gonna enjoy it. Oh my God. I'm sorry, I'm turning that down. I'm sorry. We, we are, we're actually out and about. We're gonna stop by Pop Pops. And first we went to Dunkin' Donuts. I got a oat milk a vanilla latte. It's very good. And that's about it. Really what I'm excited about is Take my purse out for a ride. I love my purse. It smells good even. It smells like a new purse. Might as well. We had a car wash. It's so beautiful. I don't know if they can hear me. This might be an unusable clip. this close I was like do I want to have her stop at Burger King but I'm not doing that so I'm not doing that not doing that so no takeout no nah, I don't want to get takeout so I want to like I want all I want is pea soup but it's not made mm. so I have to make it and that takes like 40 minutes plus I gotta cut the vegetables so Mert's saying go home have a nosh 
uh -huh. gather strength, and then cut the make vegetables and make the boost. That's, okay, I can do that. I can do that. I think. Have a nosh. All right, I am making soup. Just my basic lentil noodle soup. The procedure is in the description box. So here I have some uh, celery, onion, carrot that I sauteed a little bit, and then I threw in water, threw in some garlic better than bouillon. I'm letting this, well, it's starting to boil now, then I'm gonna throw in some lentils and let that cook for 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna throw in the other stuff. The whole procedure is down below, by the way, if you wanna make, I mean, this is a very basic soup, it's very good. All right, so my soup is finishing up. It smells amazing. It's mm. unbelievably cozy. Wait, you don't think it smells good? She just doesn't like it because it has a bunch of vegetables in it. Too healthy for you, huh? No, I just, I prefer the split pea. I know, it's too many steps. I, no, it's not, I just, I don't know. Actually, I should have made the split pea. Cause this soup, I have to keep getting up and stirring. Stirring. You also and cooked it in a very small. It's a single serve. That's why. Yeah. That's all just for me. I want to watch Sister Act. Oh, Sister Act is on TV. We're both and the tired. This one is on after that. I'm so tired. Right? I want to sleep. I want those. Oh, don't worry. I'll be awake for 90 days. Rosie, you're so cozy on this chilly day, huh? You like your new blankie? You might be wondering what I did differently with the soup this time because you I've made a similar soup a million times and I have the recipe down below. This time I changed absolutely nothing. That's the same. It's so good. I love this soup. All right, I'm gonna eat this with some uh, Dave's Killer Bread. I'm just toasting it right now. I love soup and toast. Oh, it's like one of my favorite meals. Bimbo was in my lap for like one minute and I got my phone out and friggin' Simba, what happened? He didn't want my pets. Well, no, he did want pets, but then I got the phone and he was like, you know what? Bye, I don't want the vlog to see me being cuddled. I don't want them to hear my, my little purrs, you know, maybe he feels like his privacy gets a little violated from Starch Vlog Samba, you're not getting your privacies. These two have a love-hate thing going on. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but they're staring each other down. Who's gonna win? Thing one or thing two? Simba's. What you looking over there, this Simba? Rosie! Rosie! <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know what's going to end up happening here. Do you want more pets, Simba? They're, <laughs> they're like... <laughs> There's something really funny about this moment. I, I'm not sure what. Oh, 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 geez. I thought that was going to go nice, but I guess not. All right, so... Speak words, you I'm thinking, I'm, I'm trying to remember their names. Oh. Why, why don't you support me? I just like, like, why don't you encourage I like what I do? Your discrepancies. I didn't start vlogging it, I was pausing, I was trying to remember their names. Submit and Jenny. Okay, so Jenny was talking to Submit's friend's girlfriend about Submit's mom moving in. And um, I think we know how this is gonna go. I think we know because we've seen the previews. It's, it's going to be rough. But I saw a spoiler. You saw, don't, do not give me a spoiler, please. And I'm sorry because these recaps are basically spoilers, but I think you guys know what you're in for at this point. But anyway, uh, I don't think this is going to go good. Am I, am I correct that it's not going to go good? Why would this go good? Samit's mom actually hates Jenny. Like she thinks that she ruined her life. In, in what way, shape or form at all is this a good idea? I don't know. All right. And regarding Victor and Ellie, they had a talk about Victor seeing someone else and this someone else messaged Ellie. And my whole thing is, I mean, first of all, Victor, the, like he was like listening to her tender, loving. Me and Mer agree that we think they're both in it for the long haul. I think these two are going to end up on the couch. They seem to love each other and crap. But like, I don't mean to stick up for, like, how do we not, like... Could this random person just be making stuff up to try to break them up because they like Victor? So that's the thing about like Facebook and stuff. Like what, 
What's to stop a person like like maybe she met him at a bar and she thought he was cute, so she thought, oh, let me ruin things. Right. I don't know. Isn't that possible? Absolutely, it's possible. Because I don't know, or it's possible that Victor's just hiding this whole ass thing and. But I don't know, I kind of just don't think so because it's too easy to get caught in that lie. Norm just, no, I have questions about, I have questions about um, this Kenny guy. I just want to know, like, it seems like, I mean, I could be confused, but it seems like they have plenty of money. Neither of them are working. Like, what does he do? Is he just retired? Like, it, I mean, good for him. I'm not shaming him. I'm just saying. I'm kind of. He's so handsome. Who, Kenny? Yeah, he's handsome. He's got money apparently. Like, because their house looks really nice. I mean, I'm guessing it's cheaper to live in Mexico. I mean, maybe my mind's just there. I don't know. They they live right on the water. Right. It's that beautiful, right? Be. It's like a beautiful house. Right. It's absolutely be beautiful. And I'm like, I have to go on and say that's the nicest house. I've seen on 90 Day. Right? It's like really nice and I'm yeah. just kind of blown away. And they're talking about having another baby via like in vitro and all this stuff. And like, the because I'm where I'm at, the first thing that crossed my mind is how much does that cost? But Kenny like had reservations for totally separate reasons. He's like, well, you know, I'm getting old, blah, blah, blah. Like it, it, the thoughts didn't even cross his mind. Like, what does he do? And if he has plenty of money, why doesn't he hire a Spanish teacher? Thinking on him about that, but I just don't know. Like, because he lives in a Spanish-speaking country. Right. Like, he hasn't even, like, all he's learned is, like, hola. Como estas? Yeah, but he's also, you know. Old? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He's got plenty of money. Like, buy some, uh, what do you call it? What's that, uh, thing? Rosetta Stone. I don't know. <laughs> I, I just pick on him. I can't help it because the, he's been dating Armando forever and it's like he doesn't even try. He just buys his way into the country with friggin... That's terrible. <laughs> and why do I pick on... They're, they're actually... Best, they're like my favorite couple on this show. I don't mean to pick on you, Kenny. I'm sorry. I, I just wonder how you live. I'm like... Maybe, yeah, call me jealous. Is. Call me jealous. It could be that. This is probably my favorite... 90 day moment ever and that is Alina's mom is 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 with Alina and Steven and Alina's mom clearly hates Steven like she can't even hide her contempt and then Steven tries to convert Alina's mom to Mormon but at the same time it's just and then Alina's calling him out like like some Mormon you are for you know you can't even keep your chastity or whatever and you're telling me I can't have a cup of coffee which, by the way, which religion says you can't have a cup of coffee? Are you kidding me? Well, I can't. <laughs> this is the, the funniest moment of 90 day ever. All right, so apparently there's somebody who I dislike even more than Ariella. And, it, and it's her friggin' sister because she is such a snob. Ariella goes to her house. And her sister's like, when are you gonna wake up? You're gonna raise a baby you and eat the little fun. You had your little fun in Ethiopia. That's it's terrible. Like what the f? She's like, cause she wants her to move back to Princeton because there's no friggin' where else to live. And I don't mean to keep picking on Princeton. Look, we were born in Princeton. I don't mean to pick on it. I'm just saying there's other areas of the world. Ariel is so, like, he has got aunties in Ethiopia. He's got family too. Like they're not the only family that exists. His family in Princeton. It's just so snobby, unbelievable. And I feel really bad for her because now she's getting it from both ends. Right. She gets it from his family and she gets it from her own family. No, 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 we're not feeling bad for her all of a sudden. I do kind of, to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not there yet. Because no matter but... which, no matter what she does, it'll be the a wrong move. There's no wrong move and they're like, her sister was like, oh, well, the baby's going to grow up. He's going to go to school. Like, what the, what, there aren't schools in Ethiopia. The only schools that matter are in Princeton, huh? What the F? All right. Well, I'm, all right. Well, I'm even more mad. <laughs> I'm not sure Kenny likes the idea of having another child. I mean, he's kind of like, actually, Kenny being like, oh, we got to think about it. We got to think about it. We got to think about it. Reminds me of what's his name, Mike and Natalie. 
we gotta work on it. We gotta work on it. We gotta work on it. It never happens. <laughs> they just <laughs> they just talk about like let's talk about thinking about it and working on it and planning right. it, but never actually doing it. Kind of like Anne Boleyn and her diets, you know. Oh. Just no. <laughs> I can't help it. It always comes back to Anne Boleyn. <laughs> it's. <laughs> just go back to Russia. Yeah, I, don't like I, I don't get it at all. Steven's not even sure he wants to marry Alina. Remember that? That was the drama before this. What is she hanging on for? Just go home. Sorry you met a creep on the internet. And you know, look, we've all met creeps on the, on the internet. It happens to all of us. Just go home. This nightmare will be over. Plus, I don't want to keep watching these two when Turkey, it's just super cringe, right? I don't like it. All right, unbelievably, I'm sticking up for Samit's mom because Jenny's taking it super personal because Samit's mom came and her kitchen was friggin' nasty. And like Jenny's taking it personally and feeling like Samit's mom is like picking on her because she's having Jenny clean. And it's like, she's not picking on you. She just doesn't want to live in filth with like food all over the floor and garbage and like I don't blame her <laughs> like unclean dishes and crap like come on Jenny like why didn't why didn't you clean up before they came like you knew they were coming why didn't you clean up what did you think about it I'm on the mother's side you're on the mother's side yeah I mean she just doesn't want to be in filth I mean I don't blame her all right well I can't wait that, that two hours blew by that was such a good episode Rosie I hear you She's scratching at my door, but I'm so cold and I don't want to get up. Lizzie, bust through the door somehow for me. Also, make warm coffee while you're out there. Oh my god, she's just a dog. I can't ask her to do that. Oh, I'm cold. Ooh, Rosie's probably cold. Ooh. My window isn't even open. Well, it's a little cracked because I closed it in the middle of the night and I didn't... Uh, I was too tired to put the effort to like close. <laughs> Rosie, I hear you. To like close, close it. You know, that's like some effort. So it's like a little cracked. Oh, Rosie's cold too. She wants to be in the blankies. Thank God that we have a Rosie because if we didn't have a Rosie, I'd be under these blankets like all day, I bet. Because it's cold. <laughs> Rosie, you're so cozy. I gotta stop teasing her. She's probably hungry. Uh, Mert took it last night. It's gone, and look what still is there. That's Simba's bin of food. I'm gonna hate this, but I think I am gonna bring the food back downstairs, and I'll tell you why. It's not because I mind the food being up here, even even though it does stink. <laughs> it's not. It's honest to God, not that. Sometimes Buster comes home, like briefly, and he goes downstairs and goes to where the food and litter box used to be, and it hasn't been there. I'll bring him food, but the last time he came home, which was a few days ago, maybe a week ago, well, not a whole week, but a few days ago, he came home and he zoomed right downstairs, right? So I'm I'm calling him up and I'm like, bye, bye, and I'm, I'm shaking the food. I have it in my hand. And he just like looks at me and meows at me while he's like looking at the door from where the food used to be. And I just, I don't know. He didn't come and I didn't bring it down the stairs because I can't go up or down the stairs carrying things because... When I use the stairs, I'm talking to me personally. Because I'm disabled, I need both hands. So I can't carry the food down and nobody else was awake. So he comes home every once in a while and he loves the venison. And I just want a bowl of it down there for him. I guess I can have two food bowls. That actually makes sense. All right, Rosie. It's all summer, spring, summer. It's nice, you know, you have a, have a cup of coffee on the deck. It's cozy, but... It's too cold today, which is a little depressing. I think I like that, but maybe in like an hour or so, it'll be warm enough. I don't know. The high is only going to be 60 today. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a chilly day, guys. <laughs> yeah, you got my hoodie on. I slept with this, my whole celestial outfit. <laughs> I'm so excited to live stream today. I've got two videos to react to. I'm trying to get the hungries a little bit, but I am... I'm out of that chocolate cereal, you guys know that. And I also don't have pumpkin bread, but I do have that um, Kashi vanilla cereal. I actually ordered more cereals yesterday from Walmart because I tell you what, this Walmart Plus thing, I can just 
order shelf stable things. There's no minimum delivery charge. It comes in a day or so. It's a, it's it's actually really cool. I might cancel Amazon Prime because of it because I haven't used it in a long time. I actually the last time I used Amazon, I bought that purse and that was I don't even remember when that was, a month ago, three weeks ago, I think. Remember, someone out there told me, please give Walmart another chance because <laughs> Mert had a bad experience with the Walmart delivery once. But you know what? That was another one of those two hours or less deliveries, like like with my gas X. So maybe that's why. I don't know. I don't know. But I haven't had a problem with just regular Walmart delivery at all. And I really like it. So right, I got the uh, curl talk in my hair. I'm not sure if I'm going to still wear it down on this stream. We'll see how it dries. I actually went with the rest of my uh, cinnamon harvest wheat cereal. Actually, I wanted to finish that box because I do have more cereals coming in the mail soon. So I do love this cereal. I feel like I should have bought more of this cereal, but I didn't think of it. It's very fall. It's perfect for a fall day like today. Oh, so guys, I think I'm just going to tie it up. I don't think I'm going to try wearing this in the friggin' stream. All right, so I get to wear something cozy today i'm so excited as much as i love this celestial uniform that i wore <laughs> it's time to take it off i've been wearing it since yesterday i don't tell anyone Shh. What do you guys think i think i'm gonna i think i think i'm gonna leggings <laughs> jeans i got leggings i got i still didn't swap out my clothes because that's just a lot of work and i just didn't do it yet but i will all right so yeah i'm gonna wear some leggings i'm gonna wear a hoodie oh so it's just a cozy day. It's just a cozy day, Rosalind. She's sniffing my jeans right now. She's like, what are this? <laughs> I was going to tie it up and I was like, what if I just tie up this like front piece? I don't know. What do you guys think? See, it's like it's still down, but it's not my face. What do you guys think? I don't know. What do you think, Rosie? She, does, she couldn't care less. It's so cute. Um, I mean... I think I like it. I'm gonna get it going. I am going to, right Rosie, you gonna help me? She sure isn't. <laughs> I wanna get the uh, red lentil chili going. So I gotta cut up a red bell pepper. But the recipe is all down below how I make it. This is a low spoon red lentil chili recipe. This is for those of you that also may have limited spoons or you're just flat lazy and just an easier red lentil chili. <laughs> Highest spoon thing I need to do is I need to cut up the uh, onion and bell pepper and Rosie's gonna help. She's hiding, she says, no, I'm not, stop asking me to do things I can't possibly do. I don't have opposable thumbs, I get it. All right, let's get this going. By the way, this recipe that's down below, it is actually from a high carb Hannah video. She posted like an easier way to make it. And I can't find that video. I forget what video it was. And I thought I copied and pasted and saved that link, but I guess I deleted it at some point. But either way, I changed a bunch of things about even that recipe. So just, I don't know, if you want a, if you want a low spoon, just follow what I'm doing. I'm sure there's a better way to make it, but this is Star Vlog. We're not, doing, we're not doing the best or even better way. We're doing the Start one way. Practicing, just trapping it myself. Remember I used to do this on Pulse and the food processor? No, I've been trying to like get more proficient and like better with the knife and stuff. So plus I like things to be the size that I that I want and like. So this is how I like it. So, okay, so I got in that in here and then the rest, it's all just like one pot. Okay, so and I've got a can of fire roasted tomatoes. This is a can of uh, coconut milk. You want to get the full fat kind. I mean, you can get the a low fat one, I guess, but I, I just think it tastes so good. I love it. This is so low, low spoon friendly. You guys have no idea. All right, so I added a cup of red lentils. It needs a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I put a couple tablespoons of maple syrup in here. I put like three because that's what I like, but you guys can adjust that to taste. Got a tablespoonish of better than bouillon, just a regular vegetable one. A teaspoon and a half of each paprika, chili powder, and garlic powder. Guys, that is it. I'm gonna put two cups of water in here and let it come to a boil. Stir it real good. Then you simmer it like 20 or 25 minutes. It is so easy. I love this recipe and I'm not even tired. I love it. I'm so glad I did that. <laughs> right, I'll probably have a bowl of that before I go live. It just smells so good and it's so effortless. Oh, I love it. What do you think, Rosie? Should I make some more white rice? 
She says yes. So good. This time I, um, I don't know, I let it sit a little longer, simmer a little longer than usual. Usually I cook it like, or simmer it like 20 minutes. This time I simmered it like 24 minutes. So it came out thicker this time. And it just smells amazing. <laughs> so good guys guys it's not even 150 like i am so on time for my two o'clock stream this time i am proud me i feel like a real youtuber on time and all <laughs> now i gotta try to uh well first i have to turn my computer on i've been barely on my computer lately like at all i i was just outside with my mom i just don't I've been, and I've been barely on my phone either. I don't even know what I've been doing. You're probably sitting there thinking, well, Justine, I know what you've been doing. You've been watching reruns of Hoarders because you're excited about tonight. That's true, but that's, <laughs> that's 152. Look at me. Yes, I'm getting ready, opening Safari, messages, notifications are off. Like, I'm here for it. Two, Van Berlin. I got two videos to react to. I'm so excited. I think I like my hair like this. Look at it. It's like, I don't know, this is a good thing to do when, I don't know, it's like, I just don't know how to part my hair. I have no idea how to part my hair. I'm tired of, like, I don't know how to fix my flat roots, weird roots issue without friggin' frizzing my hair, and I gotta work on it, but for now, just tie it up. So I'm not, like, parting it at all. And then you, like that, and look, my roots are auto, you know, fluffed. I didn't even have to, and the rest of my curls are great. I, I mean, I really hope you guys like this style because I kind of want to wear it all the time because it was so easy. All right, now it's 1.53. I have been rambling. I will speak with you guys when I am done. I'm so excited. I love stream. I love stream. And I love streaming when I know what I'm reacting to and I'm excited to react to it because I got weigh-ins and all to react to. What I ate in a day, that's like my favorite <laughs> thing to react to. So that's great. Oh boy, her views have not been good. All right, we'll talk about it in the stream. <laughs> In the stream. Oh boy. All right, well, the sun's about to set in like half an hour. <laughs> How depressing. It is 5.44. That time of year, guys. It's... And I feel like this is probably why I've been so tired lately. Like, I've just... I don't know. I've been tired. And like, going to bed early and... Uh, the, the one good thing is, it's going to be the time of year almost soon. Daylight savings. We're gonna fall back. Gain an hour. It's like the best day I saved. I lo this was that was my favorite day of the year <laughs> when I was working because I got to gain an hour. It was amazing. I got to sleep one more hour. It was so good. Oh my god! I, I just turned my own phone off because I was so excited. Hannah, hi, Carp Hannah. I replied to my Facebook message. NBD. <laughs> well, it was because she was doing a story and like a, a while ago, she was like, "I want to make more videos, but I'm not sure what to post. Tell me what you like." Blah blah blah. So I replied to the story. I was like, "Well, it was easier to do what I eat in a days because she mentioned it." I was like, "Just do that. They're my favorite, anyways." Because it's true. I love what I eat in a day videos. Obviously, what the hell do I do on this channel? <laughs> I just, you know, it's, it's just easy. It's just easy and fun to do. Like, look what I'm eating. You know, whatever. No pressure. I'm not a nutritionist. I suck. You know, it's casual. It's fun. And uh, she replied. She said, oh, lots of those are coming, Justine. That's, yes, good. I love what I eat in the day videos. They are, it's just curious. And I wonder, you know, you guys say that, like, you'll make stuff that I make and it's crazy. A lot of it comes from Hannah, High Carp Hannah. She's, her channel's why I'm vegan. I eat <laughs> because I was Googling the starch solution and her videos came up and I binged them and I was like, I love starches. Let's let's give this a go. Anywho, yeah, so I'm just saying I got that reply. It's and no big deal. And, and like I feel like such a creeper because I like like pretty much every post she makes and stuff. So now <laughs> it's so cringe. I have like a top fan ba badge. <laughs> I feel like such a creep. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just like I'm a fan. I can't help it. Apparently, I'm a top fan according <laughs> according to her. Facebook page. All right, well, <laughs> now if we were friends, if we were friends, I'd say, girl, you know what you gotta do? You gotta add smoked paprika and brown sugar to that pea soup of yours because it takes it to the next level. Sprinkle a little t salt on top of each bowl to make the flavors really pop. Some pepper, 
it's banging. In fact, I'm sitting here talking about it. I'm gonna make sure the recipe for it is gonna be in this vlog so that you guys make it. Cause you got you gotta get the if you don't have smoked paprika, just get it for the pea soup. Just trust me. You're vegetarian, you know, you just went vegan, you're missing the ham. Don't miss it no more. Because I gotta calm down. <laughs> well, 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 I was putting something together to eat, but here comes some the wanting sips. Nice little low, very extremely low effort meal. Huh? Maybe here. This is just rice and beans with some taco seasoning. And I cut, actually, I no, cut this no. earlier. I forgot to tell you guys. Just for like, I don't know, for low spoon moments. So I have, you know, peppers and onions in the fridge already. So this is just, yeah, rice, beans, taco seasoning. Very basic. This is, yeah, but. I, I freaking love this. I love taco seasoning. It's like so good. Actually, this is so basic that my mouth is like watering. So. Look at that, Rosie. Oh, she's all tucked in. So this chili night, she says. Thank you for tucking me in. She says. Oh, Jay. Jay. That, that's right, Barry. You're no one's in it. Oh, oh she's. Scratching the inside of her ear. Oh, she's giving you puppy eyes, Mom. I can tell from here. Oh, she loves being tucked in. She was just cowering over there, like, I need a blanket. Are you excited for the new hoarders? Yeah. It's on at 8 o'clock, Mom. It's on in 50 minutes, 49 minutes. Not that I'm counting the min the minutes or seconds or anything. Don't stop touching me. Look at Simbi. You know where Simba's been? I found out he's been hiding on uh, Lydia's bed down there. His litter box is down there, and his food's going to go back down there too, I think. Look how cozy he is in Simba. Aww. He went to your room this morning and let him in. Yeah, I heard that, and he was eating. It was very cute. Was he eating? Yeah, he, I heard him munching, and then he demanded to leave, which was annoying because I was... I woke up earlier than I wanted to this morning because of him. Thanks, Simba. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. He says, so sorry. Should I not let... No, let like what? No, do it. I want him to eat his, at his leisure, but... I, I think if he knows where his litter box is. I had Lydia show him. Good. And I think the food's going to go back. I was going to do it today, oh, but... big Stop saying that to me. So we we missed Matt losing finally on Jeopardy's. <laughs> Stop whispering to me. We just found it on YouTube. We looked. <laughs> they can't hear me. <laughs> they can't hear. <laughs> they can't hear what you're saying, but they hear. But I can hear you. They can't hear, but I can. Hear. Stop! We found Matt losing found a, Matt. on Jeopardy, yeah. and we, <laughs> and we oh, just put it on the big screen. <laughs> Stop! I'm telling them something funny. Why are you telling me to be quiet? This is my vlog. I have to vlog for the vlog. You're sending. Oh, he's very. Sure is. Dang cat. 